Hi guys, welcome back to another episode from The Vibe Guys. Um, today we are starting to go through all the requests we've had. Um, and we're going to try to do it in the most logical order. Uh, so we're going to start with one from uh, one of our followers, Wayne. And it's about cool distribution. Mm -hmm. So, Matthias, yeah. explain. That's not easy, <laughs> because call distribution is not easy. But um, we try to make examples and we try to enhance our um, scenario step okay. by step mm -hmm. so that everybody can follow us, hopefully. Fine. But um, what is call distribution? For now, we, the only thing we have is a one-to-one uh, one -one mapping of outside numbers to internal numbers. Okay. So mm -hmm. I call a number yep. and then your phone is ringing, I call another number, my phone is ringing. Okay. This mm -hmm. is okay for the first step. Yeah. But I think the strength of an asterisk system mm -hmm. is to distribute the calls exactly the right way. I make an example, you have a support team or a back office team, of course, yeah. then I don't want to call exactly you or exactly, I don't know, some you guy. You want to call one number and be yeah. able to reach everybody. Yeah, you, you, have, you just want to get a support guy yeah. and the, the system should do the right thing. Okay, fair and enough. And that's something asterisk can handle very, very good. Okay. And where you have lots of things where, which you can configure and do and okay. stuff, but we will start very easy. Okay, so it's going to be quite complicated, mm -hmm. so we'll split it a few, into a few tutorials. Yeah, for sure. Okay. It's too enough. much for 10 minutes. Right, yeah. fair enough. So, how do we start? Uh, we start on the console, okay. as every time. Um, here we're in the asterisk directory and we go to our uh, dial plan. I have um, the setup as usual. Um, Please have a look at our other video tutorials if you're not familiar with it. Uh -huh. um, I started uh, three soft phones, one for you, James, this one, one for me, and the outside world where we can simulate calls from the outside. Okay. Um, here we configured a lot uh, in our last tutorials. We have uh, business hour checks and so on, but at the end of the day we have two numbers, which is 123, the extension, and 124. 1 to 4 goes to your phone, 200. Mm -hmm. 1 to 3 goes to my phone, 100. Okay. So if somebody calls from outside, he has to decide. He says 991, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, for example, if he wants to call you. Mm -hmm. And then you can see James gets a call from, from the, the outside. outside. That's okay. it. And our voicemail box is configured, so if I decline the call, yep. our voicemail system is still working. Okay. So good. we did a good job in the voicemail <laughs> tutorials. <laughs> so, but that's it. The first thing is, um, I want a group of people. Okay. Some, some PVX it, uh, PVXs call it a hunt group or something. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, or in, in Germany, it's just a, a, a group call group. called call group or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. um, that's a very stupid call group um, with no special functionality. Mm -hmm. I say dial and please dial James, please dial Matthias mm -hmm. at once yeah. in one dial command, mm -hmm. but do nothing special. There is not uh, the case that Matthias is more important than James. James should pick up the yeah. yeah, you are the boss, okay, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> so I, we need another distribution system then, but yeah. that's for the later tutorials. So it's really easy, mm -hmm. but it's also easy to implement. Okay. We just do a dial and mm -hmm. then we can divide up the dial in more parts and okay. we can um, just yeah call more phones at once and that's it. Okay, cool. Not more, not less, but it's a kind of hunt group. Okay, fair enough. Let's have a look how we can do this. First, we need a new extension. I try to copy it. We need a new extension. Maybe 300. 300 is good for our support team. And maybe we go to the internal 300, just call it. Mm -hmm. We could invent a new context because we call this context phones. So maybe we call it call distribution okay. or I don't know. But we could also use our phone's contexts. All right. Okay. It, it does not matter, it's just a, a matter of 
um, organization or what you think is beautiful. Then we could do something like this. No. We invent a new extension 300. No op support team. Just to remind you again, uh, no op just does nothing. Yep. And mm -hmm. displays it on the asterisk CLI. Next step is we do a dial command. And we do the dial command as usual, but we now can say zip James and zip Matthias for 120 seconds or uh -huh. I don't know, as we did it before to call a single yep. extension. As I told you before, never forget to hang up. Here we could include for sure our voicemail system again or stuff yeah. like this, but for our demonstration case, this is enough. So what do we expect now? If I dial, I go up again. If I dial that number now, then I expect that both phones will ring. Yeah. I just copy that number, just in case. <laughs> And then I destroy everything. <laughs> now, back to the asterisk console. We do a dial plan, dial plan reader. Reader. Ah, You're learning fast. <laughs> then we call our number. What happens now? You can see Matthias gets a call from the outside and at the same time James get a call from the outside uh -huh. and this is the call from the outside and here you can see our um, our call line zip Matthias and a uh, zip James sorry and zip Matthias yep. so I just call more than one um, peer at the same time at the same time but that's it that's not complicated uh -huh. it cannot do much for you okay <laughs> but um, in many cases, cases that's enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you have a team of three people, and yeah, you just say, call those three people. Yeah, and then that's all you need. That's mm, sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> of course, if you've got more, and you've got multiple teams, and all yeah. that kind of stuff, then you'd need more. But um, when you've just got a small office, home office environment, mm -hmm. that could be sufficient for you. Mm -hmm. that's, that's true. But what are the drawbacks? Um, let's say there are two callers at once. Uh -huh. then there is no priority for the callers. You cannot say, ah. this is the first caller, this is the second caller, this is the third, and uh -huh. then you cannot um, answer each call um, in a fair queue. Okay. But just it's yeah, random. So we need to take a look at queues then? Yeah, we need the technique of a queue. So this is the first drawback. Uh -huh. You cannot do um, kind of distribution. Uh -huh. fair, fair, no, not distribution, a fair, An equal and fair. Fair, fair queuing. Uh -huh. um, that's the one thing. Um, you cannot do um, things like um, a call strategy. Okay. But first, it should call you. And if I'm not on the phone, if, if you don't mm -hmm. uh, answer the call, it calls me or so something. So sequential calling. Something like this. Mm -hmm. So everything, you could do it in the dial plan because I could dial you for five seconds and then yeah. I could dial me for five seconds. But that's very complicated. And if I want to change, um, the strategy, mm -hmm. then I have to change my complete dial plan. Which so, would be a hassle. Yeah, yeah could okay. be. Um, that's a, a drawback. And the next drawback is this is not dynamic. Okay. Um, let's make an example. We have five guys in our support team mm -hmm. and three are in the office today. Yeah. The other one is at the customer site and mm -hmm. the other one has holiday. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Um, then all phones of them would ring if someone calls the support team. So uh, it's not dynamic. I cannot say today I'm not a member of the support team. Right. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all that intelligent distribution strategies would mm -hmm. not work with that easy approach we okay. have now. And how would we fix that? Yeah. There is a, a special thing that's called a queue. 
Okay. And it's um, yeah an element of asterisk like the voice mailbox, right. which can do all the queuing stuff, which can do intelligent distribution with knows the concept of members mm -hmm. where you can join as a member and leave as a member and stuff like this. Uh -huh. And that's the better approach. Even if you only need to call two guys or something, right. then you should uh, think about using queues instead of um, doing it like I did mm -hmm. with just uh, concatenating um, some okay. peers. Okay. So that'll be next time I take it. We will uh, see next time the okay. concept of queues, how you can configure them and how you can start using them. Because you need a config file, the queues conf, mm -hmm. you need uh, some applications to manage mm -hmm. um, the queues and to join queues, to leave queues, to uh, put members in there dynamically okay. and so on. So they have a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. I'm going to get completely lost, I know, but never mind. Um, so there you have it. Um, that was the basics to uh, call distribution and uh, some drawbacks um, if you implement the system. Next time, we will take it further and show you how to do it really cleanly, nicely, and professionally. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hopefully. Cheers. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Bye.